welcome back to Opio's laboratory. So today I wanted to talk about mouthpiece problem. You may have noticed in one of the previous videos I showed you how to replace a faulty mouthpiece. But then uh, you may be wondering what do I mean by mouthpiece or what does mouthpiece mean? Basically, mouthpiece is a common word normally you will hear from repair technicians uh, in scenarios where you have uh, one problem is when you make a phone call the person on the other side cannot hear you you're not heard on the other side so they'll tell you your phone has a mouthpiece problem uh, two is uh, at times you have a situation where you're hearing buzzing sound on the other side of the receiver. In other words, the person receiving your call hears a hum on the background. For example, like, hello, but in the background you hear mm, constantly. Now that is also a mouthpiece problem. But uh, the other thing is, when I say mouthpiece, what do I really mean? Mouthpiece is basically the part of the phone that is nearest to your mouth or that picks sound from your mouth or that is interested in what you have to say. That's why we call it a mouthpiece. But in reality, it is actually a microphone because usually it's the microphone that is supposed to pick up sound. As you talk, the other person then hears you when the microphone has picked that sound. So how do you know it's a microphone problem? Like, how do you know? How do you know? Now, there are two cases under which you will encounter this, where a phone just starts buzzing. You just hear humming in the background. Two, you're not being heard. That's a problem. And then three is usually under instances where a person has had water damage and they taken long to actually take or look for help. So water damage can lead to the problem of the mouthpiece or your sound on the other side being faulty or you being not heard. So in this repair business you may be asking uh, what would we have to do about that? So there are about two instances that we find in this case. One, the physical microphone itself, which I'll abbreviate as mic, is faulty. Two, the audio IC. IC, as to mean integrated circuit, is actually affected. And that can be affected in any of the two cases. Natural failure or the idea of water damage that's what are affecting the audio amplifying I see water itself too can actually affect the mic itself and uh, this one is a bit straightforward you will simply deal with it by swapping out the mic they actually tend to be cheap and therefore it's also an easy way to be sure that it's not your audio I see swap out the microphone and if the sound issue is resolved and all of a sudden the person on the other end can hear you then you know you don't have to deal with the audio I see now that being said I thought I should also mention something that you might need to know more advanced phones okay renowned brands call it Nokia Samsung uh, iPhone Sony, all of those will actually implement two sets of mics. Now, if it implements two sets of mics, there is a way you can figure out whether it's a microphone problem. Now, there's a situation where when you play it in hands-free mode, hands-free mode, the person will hear you, but then when you go to private mode where uh, the person is not on loudspeaker they do not hear you that means the main mic of the two is faulty 
but the secondary mic that is supposed to support the primary mic with noise cancellation or in the event when you want to record stereo sound is faulty and therefore you will look at that lower mouse sorry that lower mouse piece or mic uh, having said that uh, it's very prudent that you feel free to subscribe to this channel I believe if you reach this far you will benefit from this channel hit the subscribe button let us reach a thousand subscribers i'll be very delighted um having said that um i always say that if you're doing these repairs for the sake of money please always request for feedback feedback is paramount this helps you in a way judge your progress in repair and also the level of satisfaction that your clients are being given. And uh, those are some bits of the tips that I would give you. And also the other tip is, one, always make sure you take history of how the phone got to start experiencing that problem or the events surrounding the time when that phone started misbehaving. Those will give you a clue as to where to pay attention for instance my phone fell in water I have been using it because the phone was going on but then after about two or three days it stopped doing that you know what has affected either the microphone or the audio amplifying IC and as usual first things first deal with the mic first before you go looking at the audio IC because it's a more complicated process that is now mother le mother body level repairs I'll bring a video someday in future covering that, so fear not, you're covered. Just say, stay subscribed to the channel. Oh, by the way, hit the like button. For some reason, YouTube thinks a video is doing well when you hit the right like button. And it suggests it to other people who may be experiencing some of these problems but do not know how to troubleshoot. Troubleshooting is like tracing where the problem or fault is and therefore with this video they will be helped just the way I know you have been helped. So like and then share the video. Um, I'm glad that you've stayed with me this long. So let me just now summarize what we said. Mousepiece is simply a microphone and then two, how do you know it's a problem? Uh, that is when you hear buzzing sound uh, on the other end of the call and uh, or if you're not heard and then we say that that can be caused by water damage or simply failure of the integrated circuit which could also be a result of water damage or just normal failure but we also said that uh, when you have those problems of they are not hearing the person when they talk uh, then you are most likely to have to begin with changing the microphone first and if that fails then you look at the audio amplifying IC and then also uh, the fact that advanced phones implement two mics another way of fault finding is trying to talk in hands-free mode and see if the second microphone is able to pick up sound and send it to the person that wasn't hearing you at first and if that happens you know that the main microphone is dead if they still don't hear you then you know both mics are dead or the audio amplifying IC is affected oh the other thing that I may also want to say I've just remembered it is at times the other way that you can tell if the audio amplifying IC is I try to plug in earphones earphones and uh, that goes for people with the uh, earphone jacks so if you don't have earphone jacks we can't help you plug in an earphone if the sound coming through the earphone then uh, we are definitely going to go uh, for the mic or if sound uh, the, the mic of the earphone is picked up that's good hit the subscribe button see you in the next video sorry for having held you this long ciao